G Day, people! This is Sharpino here. Welcome, you guys, to episode number 8 of the Pokemon X Safari Lock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course, you are a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit the button down below for us because, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we made our way through Route 9 into the cave. We found the assistant who was that engrossed into what he was doing, he didn't even realise he was being abducted by Team Flair. So, we got some small friends fire encounters in the last episode. But let's go ahead and have a look at our team for this episode today. What do we have for us today? Well, my friends, we do have Two Faced the Marwile, Player of Ironhead, Tart, Taunt, and Bite. Arnold the Macho, Karate Chop, Low Kicks, Low Sweep, and Foresight. Aquavelva, the Quagsire, Mudshot, Watergun, Mud Bomb, and Slam. Titanic, the Bergmite, Icy Wind, Bite, Powder Snow, and Takedown. Banjo, the Male Combi, Bug Bite, Gust, and Sweet Scent. And Vesuvius, the Numel, Flame Burst, Magnitude, Ember, and Focus Energy. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this episode started! So, we are now going to go ahead and um, head into the Emberate Aquarium. Now, I do believe we do have to talk to one of these people here, and they do give you a rod. I'm pretty sure it's this guy over here. A wandering young trainer, are you? Let me guess, you wish to fish for all the Pokemon Sea, right? I'm sure you do. So, that's what's an old rod. Okay. You know, there you are, one fishing rod. Okay, I don't need to learn about it, thanks, bye. <sighs> But here we are, Route 8, Morial Coast. Now, we already got our Route 8 encounter, but down here, this is actually Amber Town. So, we can actually go ahead and get ourselves an encounter for Route 8. Excuse me, it's a pearl. It's a pearl. Alright, so let's go ahead and use our old rod somewhere around here. Register it. And let's go ahead and use it. No, no one seems to be biting. God damn. We got a bite! Is a love disc or a magic harp? It's a love disc. Let's use a bite. A little bit of damage, no big deal. Let's use a great ball on this love disc. Love dicks. Ha ha ha. That's for those, uh, what's it called? Dyslexics. You know, it's love dicks. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. So that's already one encounter for the Friend Safari. Woo! Love this, the rendezvous, okay. So that's our next encounter we get to swap out for, awesome. Now we're back on Route 8, now like I said, because we're already going to encounter for Route 8, we will not be able to encounter another Pokemon, because we got one already, that was the Inkei. That's the dowsing machine for you. With this, I can find items all I, all I can't see with no trouble at all. Here, I have one for you. Use it to find some treasure. Why, thank you. Use the dowsing machine. It's easy. Okay, yes, I get it. It's Iron Finder. Got it. Normally, it sinks like a brick, but when I'm with my Pokemon, swimming is no problem at all. Why, are they flirting you? I wouldn't be surprised at that. Oh, gosh. I will say... Very, very, very seductive. But here we are with a two face over here. We're facing off with a Wingle, which involves into a member of the Season 3 Christine Cream Crawls, Pelipper. We're seeing a water pulse come from this Wingle. Oh my god. The player is going to OK that Wingle as if to say, Thank you for coming. See you next time. Good god. And next up is Psyduck. Psyduck. Say, 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 say. Confusion. Oh, 
almost gets the kill though, but we get the attack drop as well, which is the first time I think we've ever seen that in this Let's Play. In comes a Water Pulse. I was thinking Kobe was gonna be the first one to fall. Nope, it's two faced, our fucking mobile put my crit fucking water pulse. <laughs> ah fuck Well it couldn't last forever. It couldn't last forever. Ah, Jesus Christ. Ah. There's nothing I could say or do that's going to make the situation any better. It's just... Fuck. Ah! Fuck. Ah! <sighs> so let's see. Let's get ourselves another encounter. Let's go for a low kick. That's not bad, we'll do one more and then we'll go for the Pokeball. No crits. I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just, it was so unexpected. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Like, come on now. Like, fuck. It was a crit. <sighs> What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What do you do? Da, da, da. What do you do? Oh, 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 welcome, welcome. Come right this way. What time do you have, young man? Did you know that you are our 10,000 and first customer since we opened the shop? Yes, like you, you are number 10,001. No, it's not. If you had been number 10,000, then you could have gotten a bicycle for free, but as a runner-up, you can still get the chance to win a bicycle by answering our quiz correctly. If you're ready, then here we go. The question is, do bicycles come in more than one colour? Well, of course. Bing, 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 you are correct. I'm sure someone like you will love having one of our bicycles. Which colour will go for you, yellow or green? Let's go with green. So we got ourselves a free bicycle. Okay. Now, now, I have to actually make a death box, which I really didn't want to do, but, uh, it just had to, it just had to, ha it just had to happen. It's terrible, really, guys, I was just having a connection there, I don't know why my, my things shut off and I realised the charger wasn't plugged in properly. So yeah, I've actually got to go ahead and get all my, um, Pokemon actually upgraded because I actually don't have all the Pokemon updated for you guys. So, um, just call it death because that's what it is. So, for the time being, we're going to go ahead. Our first member of the death box is our Marwell. Oh my god. So, for the time being, just for this episode, we'll continue 
SBR is a team of five, and basically we'll, um, wait, do I need to heal up here? Apparently not. So what we'll do is we'll keep, we'll keep, we'll keep our team as is, and then at the end of the episode, I'll get everyone, all the new encounters into the, the party here, and, um, then we should be good to go. Oh dear, if you're here for the basket race, I'm afraid you're too late. The race is over and I took first place. I feel bad that you missed it though. Here, allow me to give you some strength, HM, and consolation. If one of your Pokemon uses this move, you'll be able to push large rocks around. HM for strength. Thank you. However, if you want to use the move outside of battle, you first need the badge from the gym I ran in the city. On that note, I'll be waiting for you in the gym. Come and challenge me at your leisure. Oh yeah, that, let me get my bicycle registered as well. But now you get a selection when you hit register. Item. And then we need to go down here to get the next item. A super potion. Great. There we are. One more item over here. It's an extra fend. Well, isn't that pretty useful? Who said anything about that? Alright, now let's go ahead. <gasps> we got a fashion upgrade. Let's go. Let's accessorize. Oh, you want to use a fitting room? Oh, yes, please. I will. Red seems to be my color, so... No. Ooh, I like that. Blue? Hmm, nah, I like the black ones better. Uh, no, it's good with black, what the hell? Red sneakers? Yes please, I like red sneakers. And a pink bag. Nah, we'll keep that. I think that looks good. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Like a, like a trainer should. Yeah. Wow, they look great. That's 6,100. Alright. Please come again. Oh, I will. At the next fashion shop. But while we're here, I actually just thought about something. Why don't we get ourselves another encounter? Because we do get one more encounter. And it's over here. Well, first off. Okay. Route 10 encounter. Survey says it's going to be a Houndor. The fact this is a Nuzlocke, I would have loved to use a Houndor. Unfortunately, it is paper frail. Let's go ahead and bring in our Vesuvius, because Vesuvius is really the only Pokemon that could really do... Is, the only thing is that this thing is Flash Fire. Just for how? Yeah. Let's go for a Flame Burst. Smog resisted, and gets the poison. Fuck! And it is Flash Fire. <laughs> is there nothing we can do? All of these moves hit very hard. Oh my god, this hand door, why? And I just flash fight it and I just... Uh, okay, alright. Let's hope this great ball can work because there's not really anything we can do with this hand door. I really want to get this hand door. One, two... Three. If it's any consolation, yeah, that's our consolation. <sighs> Hound all the. Eh, don't worry about it. It's gonna be swapped out anyway, so it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter to me. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get this um, Iapaberry. Oh, Lapaberry. It's Iapaberry. All right, so let's go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and heal up our Pokemans and get ready for the second gym of Kalos, which is the Rock type gym. Which, surprisingly, two of our team members cannot do absolutely jack shit. Our Bergmite gets fucked by it, and our Combi gets fucked by it. So, you know what? You know what? What, 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 what? Oh boy. Do you know what? Alright, so let's go ahead and, um,. Let's get the bike out. Ride, my boy, ride! Ride to the gym! Ride, 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 Yeah! Ridle, as in Ridle from Hoenn. Ridle, Ridles. Ridles, bikes. And here we are, the rock climbing, Silent City Giant. Gaim. Gaim, Gaim, Gaim. Alright, so seeing how this is a rock type, we could definitely use Vesuvius. And even Aqua Velva can be very useful. But basically, the other two Pokemon, Bergmite and Combi, cannot do much in this gym here. So we're going to have to rely on the power of our other three Pokemon to get us through. I need a break after all this climbing and training. Is that right, man? Is that right? You need a break from all this rock climbing, huh? Just to feel having hard. We have a... Oh, Alright, let's go for a Flame Burst, which is neutral on a Dwebble. As he goes for a faint attack. Why do they do so much? And it has sturdy. Yeah, I knew it had sturdy. I knew it had sturdy. Okay, I'm getting a little bit scared here. Why the fuck is all these Pokemon so high leveled? What the fuck? I'm getting a little bit scared right now because all these Pokemon are like in the mid-20s right now and I'm not liking that. Relicanth, well, fuck. Arnold, you're on this one. Vesuvius cannot live a water attack from a Relicanth. It really can't handle it. Anything goes for your one. <sighs> Low sweep. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use an Awakening. See, I remember going through troubles with this gym every single time I played X and Y. Rock Tomb, to get the speed drop. What a bitch. As he goes for another yawn. Oh my god, Relican, fuck off! Asshole. Let's go for a low kick, I'm pretty sure it's pretty heavy. It's apparently not. Wake up! As is, oh my god, this relic hip, does it know only one thing? Like, oh my god, it really is a fish, one trick pony. Um, I don't know what to say, this is actually very difficult. One flint, lava plume, yes! Oh my god, yes! Lava Plume! Thank fuck! Even that's not useful in this gym, but fuck! Oh, pain again. Well, there is something to lose from, from losing. So you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? And I'm just doing this because looking at that, just that experience with just a Dwebble and a fucking... Um, I'm not ready for this gym. Clearly, I'm not ready for this gym here. So you know what I'm going to do? We do have two encounters to go ahead and replace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, heal up, and we're going to go ahead and get ourselves two more Sapphire Counts. So I do apologize for this episode being a little bit... Uh, excuse me. I do apologize for this episode for being a little bit shorter than what it normally is. But honestly, I don't want to take any chances with this gym here. Honestly, we just struggle just with that gym alone. Just with that alone. So what I'm going to do is... 
we we'll bring ourselves to the uh, safari part of the game, and I'm gonna get everyone to try and level 25. I really think level 25 because now we are getting absolutely fucked by everything. So we'll be right back. We'll be back in the safari zone. And we're back with the French Fry Love with three encounters because I actually just remembered that we caught two love discs and that handle. So we have three encounters to go ahead and replace. Let's go ahead and have a look at our options here. Let's go ahead and get the number generator up from 1 to 18. Our next type is going to be number one. And number one is a fire type. So let's go ahead and see if we have a fire type. On the squad over here. Fire types, fire types. We have one, we have two, we have three fire types. God damn. So I'm going to pick a number between one and three. And whatever number's going to be. It is one. So we're going to go ahead and have a look through the first. The first fire type safari. So thank you to Nate. For your friend code. Let's go ahead and see what fire type will befall us. For our first of three encounters today. Survey says it's a... Ponita! Shout Gen 1, Ponita. So we need to go ahead and swap into Chunk because Chunk can put this thing to sleep and it will help us catch it a lot easier. Whoa, check out that fire spin residual damage. Holy fuck. I'm just going to yawn on just enough chance we. It outspeeds us. Wow. A level 30 Ponyta speeds level 65 slimes. Then again, Ponyta's base speed is a lot higher, so it's not surprising. Let's go for an Ultra Ball on this uh, Ponyta and see if we can actually catch this Ponyta. One. It kicked out. Surprise, surprise. And it was a crit too. <laughs> And now the painter's asleep. And this is exactly what I was preparing for. In the off chance that this painter wanted to be a little bitch and just take its time trying to get caught. That was a critical throw right there. So we got this painter in the bag. Boom right there. Boom right there. You can hear that high pitch. Like he's throwing a vortex. Every in Australia knows what a vortex is. It's this little bullet thing. It's rubber, but it only throws like as it spins in the air. It looks like a little bullet. And there's only one nickname we can have for this year. You guys all know it, what I'm going to call it. I call every single one of this one, and it's female, so it's only fitting. It's a Pona. It is a Pona. A Pona is our encounter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another type from the Friend Safari here. So. Let's get the table back up and let's go ahead and hit number from 1 to 18. Survey says it is number uh, number 10, which is another ghost type. So let's go ahead and um, go on safari for another ghost type. Woo! Let's see. Ghost types, ghost types. One ghost type, two ghost types, three ghost types. So we search in yours. We'll go ahead and search in Jacob's one. So thank you very much to Jacob for your friend code. Let's go ahead and see what's inside this ghost friend safari. I'm hoping it's a ghastly old hunter. That'd be nice. It's a lamp pen, but we already have a lamp pen, so that is dupes. And I'm not going to go ahead and get ourselves a second lamp pen. Although it would be nice, but yeah, just not going to do it. Just It's just not within me to do that. So we're going to go ahead, start searching again, start scouring through here. And we are in fact going to get a pumpkaboo. Which is pretty cool because when I trade it over to my game, it will actually become a a, a, a Gorgeist. Which, I don't mind a Gorgeist. I don't mind a Gorgeist at all. So we're going to go ahead and put the burn on this Pumpkaboo here. Because I mean, hey, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to dis- I'm going to say no to a, say no to a Gorgeist. Alright, let's try and go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at this Gore guy. So this is replacing the second Love Disc. The first one was uh, the... We just caught it, what the fuck? I'm, I'm having a total brain fart here, I cannot remember what the other Pokemon was. We just caught it, what the fuck? Ponyta, that's what it was, Ponyta. And we caught ourselves a Pumpkaboo! Well, thank you very much 
for the Pumpkaboo. A Gen 6 Pokemon, which is always nice to have because, you know, you don't always have all the Gen 6 Pokemon. Um, it's a male. Male Pumpkin. And becomes a Gorgeist. I just thought of something. Let me just see this. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna call it that because it's a male and RuPaul. So RuPaul, if you guys don't know, is an American actor, drag queen, but he's a very famous drag queen. And I'm not saying this to be insulting. He's actually pretty damn good at his job. So, we're going to go ahead and move on to the third encounter that we have today. So let's hit that number generator, number generator, one more time. And we have number, let's see, let's see, let's see, it's a number three. It's a grass type. All right, let's go ahead and see if there's any grass type uh, friend safari. So let's see, do we have any grass types? I don't think we do. Nope, we do not have a grass type. So let's move to the next two, which is normal and water. So, do normal and water. So, one normal, which we haven't explored yet. A water, which we've seen everything there. So that's probably not going to be the way to go. And Liam that already has the... So you know what? We're going to go ahead and venture into the second normal type. Um, friend Safari, thanks to Sam for your friend code. I do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and see what kind of encounter we can find inside this normal type. Hope there's no lily pup, because we've got a lily pup. And it's going to be a... A Loudrin. I'm not going to say no to that. Loudrin becomes an x Cloud, and an x Cloud is power. Absolute power. You know, with moves like Thunderbolt, and Surf, and Fire Blast, and holy shit, Boom Burst. Holy shit, Boom Burst. We can't forget that. Oh my god. So this loud is actually going to be fantastic. So. Let's go ahead and throw an ultra ball at this loud red. Loud is going to be absolutely insane. But he just does not want to stay in the ball. Come on loud red. Let's try this again. Attempt number two at catching this Pokemon. Hey, we got it. Let's go. Loudred. I just going to actually go ahead and just check something. Loudred nickname. Just because I I do have a name for it. Like I called it, um, I think I called it Big Mouth in the last one. So... Let's see, nicknames. Not really good ones. Mm. Let's see, if it comes a giant, just lock, opens giant mouth, but it just sounds everywhere. Just, rah, just freaking. Um. I'm really struggling to find a nickname for it. What's the name actually? Hold on. I know A Drive called his loud dude. He called a Bose, like a like a like an amplifier. Actually, yeah, that's what that's Amplifier, perfect. It amp sounds and it just fucking brah, just you know, very, very loud. So Let's go ahead now and see what, you know, these Pokemon, what, well, let's see what the level, the, the natures of these Pokemon are. So we have a Ponyta, a, um, a Pumpkaboo, and a, um, the last Pokemon we just got. So let's see, Ponyta is a rash nature, which isn't bad, because then it means it just has less, it has more special attack. The only thing is it makes it a more, uh, Glass cannon esque feature. Naughty nature with RuPaul with pickup, which isn't bad. And we have, where are we? Loudred over here. 
with gentle soundproof. Not scrappy. So, not bad, not bad. I'll actually just go ahead and put it over here. Just so we can have a lineup of all of our accounts. I've got to fix up my boxes and um, fix up my teams and everything else because now we're going to go ahead and tramp all of our Pokemon to level 25. So what I'll do is... I'll try everyone up to level 25, except for the mystery addition to my team. And that way, you guys can get a nice little surprise as to what Pokemon I plan to bring that will be level 25 to the squad. So I will say thank you very much for enjoying today's episode. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure you hit like button down below for us, because as always, your support is going to be appreciated. And in the next episode, we will hopefully take on the Rock Gym and hopefully won't have too much problems with it, because at the moment... And we just took on the first trainer and we were struggling like a mother. So hopefully our new edition will help us with our rock weaknesses. So until the next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!